Hello my beautiful little muglet, so this is going to be one of those gear raising videos. We recently got our third Hell Labyrinth sword, hoping to get some good speed rolls this time. Uh, there's also some other equipment, we haven't opened our chest from the Automaton Tower yet. There's usually like some speed rings in there which we still really need. Uh, of course they have to actually have a speed subset on them before we're gonna raise them, but We'll check those out later. First of all, starting with this sword. Just gonna throw some garbage down here. First substat, attack. It was a huge attack roll though. 18% from one roll, damn. Would be nice to get high speed. Uh, it's not too late, but it might be right now. Now it's probably too late. I guess if we can avoid health for the most part, it can be a good like peer damage dealer sword. Uh, last time it rolled like mostly into health, over 30% health, which I gave to Lilius, uh, was pretty good. But at least we are having solid luck with the actual roll percent, you know, 10 crit chance, 18 attack on two rolls is not bad. It could potentially still be a good speed sword, but it has to only go speed from now on, which, uh, I'm gonna assume it's not gonna do that. Kinda wanna throw this 15 epic in there, it just has a lot of effectiveness really. Guess we're gonna just start with some charms, let's see. Ah, uh, and then it goes health. I kind of hate when it just goes to everything, I mean, except speed so far, which is, uh, I guess I'm used to it to be honest, but like, <laughs> it's gone to every substat except speed. I don't really like the balanced ones, I like when it rolls a lot into one stat just so I know like, oh this sword, if I need someone with like, you know, 20% more crit chance I can just give him this sword, but when it's just like totally balanced it's like, eh. See what happens at 12. Okay, yeah, there goes the speed, only a 3, unfortunately. Yeah, even if it rolls the speed again, like a perfect whatever is max, I think 5, I guess, for this case, it still wouldn't be very good, but whatever. That's the way the cookie has crumbled for the last three times, so why would I expect something different? Why is the weapon charm way down here now? That's so weird. And... Health, god. <laughs> I already have a really good Lilia sword. And now this one is just kind of like, it's okay, but still mediocre, so... Whatever. Cool beans. Damn. I don't think it could have rolled worse, honestly. But yeah, let's check out these automaton boxes. I'm only gonna open the 78s, I think. Yeah, 78 speed. Ring. Really doesn't matter if it's health. Oh, but no speed on it, anyway. If there's a chance for it to screw me over, it's probably going to. It's just what it is. Um, alright, so we're not even gonna bother with that one. And I think that's it. <laughs> cool. Oh wait, this is also a speed ring. It actually doesn't really matter that it's a 65. Let's see. Wow, look at that. No speed. That is very surprising. I would even take a 52, you know? Sure. But no speed. Whoa. Crazy. And that's it for Automaton Tower. Thanks very much. We do have some other gear that we got from Labyrinth. This one we got from Abyss, but it's attack percent instead of crit damage. Right now I have crit damage on my Immol Zerato. I don't know how much of a difference it would make, like, you know. Here's his set right now, and his stats. Honestly, his necklace, like, subset wise isn't super good. He kinda does need health, and attack is always good when he's trying to solo the the hunt. I'm probably just gonna replace his ring when I get that out of Abyss. Can also take a look at what happened to the rolls here. You know, 5 speed. Some speed would be kinda cool, honestly. Here it rolled into speed once. I mean, the Abyss set is really nice for Zerato because he kinda needs all the stats anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much where it rolls. Um, yeah, 34 health here. That was cool, he has 14.4k health as a mage. It's pretty crazy. Oh yeah, well we do have health boots, so that helps with that a lot. But yeah, we're probably gonna raise this necklace anyway, just to see what happens to it. We have so much ring and necklace, like charms and accessories. Not only what you see here either, but 44.7 thousand um, ancient coins, so yeah. I really wish they would put the rest of the gear charms in here as well, because those are the ones I'm running out of all the time. Um, and then like ring and necklace, it's like hard to get a really good ring or necklace anyway. May as well buy the bug charm I guess, even though since we can only use like 5 per month, I don't think it's really necessary to buy them, probably. At least not in my case. From normal labyrinth you can get 4 per month, so I guess buying 1 per month. I don't know if my math's right there. We also have some new gear on the crit damage set. Uh, we've been getting actually a lot of crit, good crit damage pieces from various, I think mainly the recent side story had a lot of good crit damage pieces um, but here are some 88s anyway they only start with four speed for some reason usually 88s or at least 
the, mo the more recent 88 start with five speed. Not really that big of a deal since it's on the crit damage set anyway. The necklace looks pretty nice. I'm still kind of sad that every piece has effect resistance on it. Like I get effect resistance can be important depending, but like it's not always necessary. And if you do go for effect resistance, you have to go for a lot. But the weapon looks good. Attack speed, crit chance, chest is fine. Attack, crit chance, crit damage for the helmet. I'm sure they'd all roll into effect resistance only. Well, then I'd have pretty much constant Im immunity, so there, there's that. I just won't be able to do anything else. But yeah, probably the most interesting is the crit damage set, crit damage necklace, I would say. Probably followed by the weapon. Of course, I'm going to buy the unknown slate first. I think we could triple S our Judge Kisa then. But yeah, let's go ahead and raise his necklace. I got a bit sidetracked there. Going to start with any of this bad stuff we have down here. I'm not even going to look at it. First roll is going to be a speed, of course, yes. I mean, you know, also for my speed set dudes, they can have two non-speed pieces, so if this like only rolls into speed and we get like 24 speed on it or something, then uh, I I'd be fine with that too, I suppose. Next roll is speed. Wow, it actually is. 12 speed at plus six. Let's keep going, dude. I mean, I'm not too excited yet because it does this to me often. First couple rolls are pretty good, and then it just completely screws it up from, you know, plus 9 to 15. <laughs> plus 9 is also speed. No crit chance is cool too, I suppose. For the rest of them, I'm not too sure, so let's just throw a big boy in there. And one more. Come on, give me the speed. 15? Yeah, I mean, it's getting there. If it rolls into speed again, I would say it definitely could be used, even though it's a lifesteal piece. At 15, I don't think in most cases it's worth it to... Because I have a speed set necklace with 11 on it already, and like the weapon I have has 17, and the helmet I have has like, I think 15 as well, so it wouldn't really help at 15, so roll into speed again and, uh, and we'll see what we can do. Alright, that's my offer. Speed. Boom. Of course not. Why would you do that for me? Well, I mean, we have free gear removal, so let's check it out. So, Mr. Oxlots. Yeah, we got 11 speed here. It's a pretty bad necklace besides the speed, but that means we'd have to get a speed set helmet, which has 14 on it, or a speed set weapon, which this one has 17 on it. So probably rather going with a speed set helmet. So if we have any speed set helmets with at least 12 speed on them, then I think we'll get a speed. Let's see. I don't seem to have very many speed set helmets with speed subsets on them at all. 7, 7, 4, 7, 3, 9, 4, 2, four, three. Swords, eight. This one has some potential. We should probably try and get it up to 15. If it rolls well into speed, then maybe. So we'd only get plus four from the necklace, which means we need to get better than negative three from whatever we're swapping out. So the weapon has to be at least 14 and the helmet would need to be at least 11. Helmet's already off the table, since we don't have any. And again, if the sword rolls into speed, then yeah, we can get a plus one speed. Damn, listening to myself talk about struggling to get plus one speed is actually sad. <laughs> but yeah, the plus 14 sword is literally our only hope. So let's go. So there are two smaller ones. Crit chance. Well, there goes that one. Let's see what other cool necklaces and rings we have, because for everything else, we're running too low on everything. So this one doesn't have any speed on it, but I kind of want to raise it anyway. It's not always only about speed, so go ahead and throw that junk in there. Still can't believe none of those three had a single speed sub substat on it. Crit damage is cool. It's on the crit damage set after all. Yes, defense roll, perfect for an attack percent crit damage ring. I don't know why they actually put that on there. But okay, defense is nice. Please just give me only defense on like the most offensive possible ring that exists. I should actually check those 70 speed rings. No speed. No speed. All right, go in the trash. Oh, here's three speed. We actually only need more than eight to get extra speed on the... I, I, I don't know what's up with my ring luck, dude. It's really bad. Here we go. Nine more defense, please. Crit chance. All right. It can still be saved. I mean, it is possible. Yeah, of course it's possible. I, I, I can't believe I'm questioning myself if it's possible to get a speed subset on a ring. Because, like, literally 90% of my rings just simply don't have them. Well, at least we had a chance with this one. But, um, yeah. Let's see. 11. Let's do one more. And defense, please. Thank you, God. I'm sorry for complaining so much, though. It's, like, it's pretty exhausting after a while, you know? <laughs> I mean, 
I'm not even going for speed and it's still annoying just because like this is crit damage set attack percent ring you kind of like no one no one wants to fence maybe like one character one niche character like kin or something maybe but it's like come on what's the final roll it doesn't even matter anymore give me defense for all I care thanks I, I actually did care what else we got yeah, this one. We're going for speed again, boys. Time to get salty. You know, we're just going to start straight off with a with an epic. Let's see what happens. <laughs> it literally, every everything except speed. I'm not going to bother with it anymore. What else we got? Let's just go, let's just go speed set. I don't think we have any more. I think we already raised all the ones with speed on them. I was so desperate and just hoped that at like 15, it would give me a good roll and go above eight, but it didn't. Well, I think we can raise uh, this one for Tamarin. I think Tamarin still has a percent ring and I use Tamarin so often. I don't know why she has this ring at all. She doesn't need crit chance damage or attack. It would be a good replacement. And we actually have free gear removal right now. So we're gonna do that. The only time I'm happy about flat HP, there is unfortunately attack there. So let's see, let's see how many times that rolls into attack. Maybe equipping it to her makes attack less likely since you know she's a soul weaver, she doesn't really need attack. Let's see what happens. We're gonna just throw a big ass epic ring charm in there. It, it did go to attack once, as long as we can avoid it from now on. All right, defense effectiveness, you know, health defense effectiveness, those are all good for her. Effectiveness really only for her basic idle transform, but still. So I'll take effectiveness even, just don't really need attack though. What happens at 15? Probably gonna have to do at least one more there. Come on. Damn it, I knew it. This was that 30 experience? Yeah, whatever, we're gonna throw this one in there. I don't care. And attack, wow, man. I, I knew that before, but whatever. It's still better than it was before, I suppose. Well, let's just see. I heard this a long time ago that Tamarind benefits from flat health, but that was a long time ago, and I don't know if anything has changed since then. Where was that one she had? I think it was an effectiveness set ring. Yeah, it was this one. So yeah, we got 770 health, though it should be noted that on this ring, we also have 15% health. So it's kind of hard to say. It's probably pretty even, honestly. But regardless, again, she doesn't need crit chance damage or attack, so it's better. I'll take it. I could also try and give her a health set, health set speed boots. Oh, we got these. Health defense, crit chance, and effectiveness. Well, it's pretty much just crit chance we would need to avoid here. Oh, they have the enhance button down here. That's cool. Little, little quality of life change. We're gonna get them to plus six. If it, for the most part, avoids crit chance, then We'll, e we'll equip them. Effectiveness. Again, it's the least important of the useful stats, but it's all right. Defense. That works. Plus nine is... More effectiveness. It's cool. I think for the rest, we're going to go charms. What happens at 12 if we actually get there? More effectiveness. So, uh... I mean, that that's probably enough effectiveness, actually. Still better than crit chance, I suppose, but still. Plus 15 is... Yeah, okay. Alright, so now we're losing 530 health, but she doesn't have the other piece yet. So, let's go look for that health piece. This one doesn't look too bad. Health, defense, effect resistance. What's on this one? Uh, flat health, yeah. I mean, we're, we're gonna lose some speed. Health, defense, speed, and effectiveness. I don't really use Crozette anymore, so uh, it's nothing super special. But I actually kinda like this one from Judith. I don't really use Judith either anymore. Would give us a nice chunk of speed and a bit more health as well. Yeah, I think I'll do it like that. All right, our Tamarin's looking pretty fresh now. Still have to get that last Awaken. Oh, it's just attack percent. That's probably why I never got it, but she also does get 80 more health. So I probably will get it eventually, but but yeah, no rush for that. So I mean, I think we pretty much raised like one of each piece almost. Nothing really good came out of it, I guess, except for a couple pieces for Tamarin. Those weren't so bad. But yeah, I guess that'll pretty much do it. I guess the main showcase was that 88 sword from Hell Labyrinth, which just kind of, yeah, did whatever it wanted to, you know. Not big speed or any other stat really, just kind of made everything even. 
which I mean, it's probably an okay general sword for someone at one point down the road whenever I need to put something on someone. It'll be all right. And that's about it. But that's the way the cookie crumbles. How it's been crumbling. My floor is entirely full of crumbs. But yeah, make sure to tell me what you think in the comments down below. Dropping a like if you happen to enjoy for some reason is greatly appreciated as well. Thanks, as always, for watching. And until next time.